Hello dear student welcome in this online session of 8th standard SS and today in this session of English medium we are going to focus on a lesson which is also named as and known as India problems and solutions. Now see India is a country consisting a huge amount of number of group of people it means we are second largest country in the world. Apart from that we also need to grow more in the development of industries, infrastructure, manpower, many more kinds of other things. So this lesson will be dealing you about the fact related to the India. Also it will showcase about the general ancient and modern condition of India as well what we can do more further. It will be also guiding you to in this lesson. So let's check it out the lesson which will be displaying on your screen right now. So let me show you the screen. Now here the screen appears with the image exactly same as in your textbook shown there. India challenges and the solutions. It means the problems and the solutions. In the modern times, see, the external means of the development change, but the internal means of the development have more or less remained the same. It means that the honesty, moral value, awareness towards the right duties and the citizens, traffic awareness, sensitivity towards environment, traffic attitude, scientific attitude have do not have not developed as much as the material development. Social evil customs are still prevailed there as well as superstitions are still in the villages and all. Illiteracy causes the problems in the poverty, ignorance and also in the development of society. So we can say we need to develop from the mind, not from the material. Ha! Huh, we need to develop from the material, we are developing infrastructure. But we need to also develop our healthy habits, we need to also develop our general habits and it's a time where we can update two days from the tomorrow. Now see, institution of the local self-government education institutions and the non-government voluntary organization that is NGO have played a vital role in the social and professional development of the nations too. The society shows many positive change which is very creditable fact. It means it is a very good fact. Now still there are more challenges to be faced. Population is one of the most of them. Employment comes the second and then poverty leads further no change in the India. So illiteracy, terrorism, etc, etc are also in the queue line. So there are serious problems to the pondering about the India and its development. Now see my dear student, it is necessary about them to find a solution. Without the solution, we are not going to help India and also we are not going to make it more go possible to make a new India. So the idea of Vasudev Kutumbakam, the earth is whole, our family is actually needed to be incalculated in the India. Now see, as per the, if you talk about, as per the Swami Vivekananda, he said that okay, Vasudev Kutumbakam, it means whole world is our family. This also means that we should live together and it also means that we should be respecting the nature and the internal problem, regional problem, border problem or natural problem together. So now let's focus, I'm showing you the showcase of internal problems, the arrow marking with the, with the classification of the challenges faced by India, which kind of problems are there in India, we are focusing on that. Okay, it will also show you the regional problem, the broader problems and all, the border problems, the natural problems and all. Internal problem will be relating, relating with the overpopulation, illiteracy, inflation from one place to another, then poverty, unemployment, urbanization, then communication also and communalism also. Apart from that, corruption is the most backbone breaking problem of India, then terrorism is also there. Okay, and same as we can say, regional problem consists of discrimination based on caste, language, color, then regionalism is there, and the border problem is related with the border problem only. Okay. Plus natural problem, flood, calamities, earthquake, okay, tsunami, volcanic eruption, cyclone, etc, etc, etc are there. So what should we do? The condition now, ask a question. So let's talk about the few listed challenges and we'll be also thinking about the solutions for that. Now the next page comes here where an image is shown, okay, an image is shown which is a very dangerous image. You can see the human beings are falling from the earth. It is a clear shine of that. We are having less land and maximum population. So what we need to do now, we need to control the population, we need to plan a family management also. And that is how we can say, okay, here overpopulation is the main reason to make India poverty. Now Malad had, Malav have to attend his maternal uncle's marriage. He came to the bus stand and he is actually with his mother. So it was very crowded, the bus arrived at the bus stand but there was no place to sit. So he could not board the bus every day as he was, everybody was pushing there. Okay, so at the another time, thus he could not reach to the uncle's place in the time. 
what do you think would happen now next would happen okay let's focus in the story in the previous chapter in the previous chapter see generally we have discussed and studied about the overpopulation and its effect the root cause of almost overpopulation in the problem is the population only okay so let's think about the way how to control the population increase in the population means increase in the demand for the facilities infrastructure schooling money food lots of kinds of things so population growth outgrowth and growth of economy relates somehow lower so that's how we can say only population is growing on the higher scale now in the other words the population growth is more and more faster than the growth of the economy as well as we can say the economical growth is also not that much equal to the population population is growing more faster than the economy so according to the census calculations which were held in 2011 the total population of india was 102 crores which is actually has gone up to 121 and if you ask me today's population in 2000 like 2020 or 2021 then it is going more than 136 crores so that's how we can say overpopulation leads to certain main man-made challenges also such as pollution conjunction of area residential problems okay then shortage of water there is no availability of the food also medical services education opportunities unemployment corruption terrorism etc etc okay murder cases rape cases and lots of kinds of cases are also there because due to unemployment and unemployment is due to lack of opportunities lack of opportunities are due to illiteracy illiteracy leads to the population so that's how we can say it is becoming very necessary for the government to take care certain steps and also to get a proper rule to guide and control the population okay so this is the basic thing which we are understanding about now see one of the main cause of india is about literacy and illiteracy also the literacy makes the india more powerful illiteracy pulls the legs of india okay so here illiteracy is the major factor hindering the progress of a nation plus illiteracy is actually required in a condition to uh, we can say like understand new ideas literacy requires but not illiteracy now new ideas discoveries and knowledge as an educated person can be having a different sort of belief my dear student same as he can also communicate explain his ideas opinions views benefits beliefs etc etc he can do so when we attend the independent independence the literacy rate was quite low 1947 if you talk about but due to the effort of we can say awareness of the government then awareness of the awareness towards the people and all they made literacy a, a basic reason, a bridge to go and cross over the path of struggles and to reach the destination of success. But today we can say today also literacy is not that much higher than the illiteracy. So we need to completely go further with the literacy and illiteracy must be eradicated from here. So somehow we can say measurement to increase it, it, measurement to increase the literacy. Because we can across incident or also we come with the across incident when the people get cheated because of their illiteracy. Illiteracy is a taboo. It's a kind of old procession. Okay on the culture of a society and many measures have been also taken to eradicate it free and compulsory primary education to be aged group of 6 to 14 years as government has also given their scholarships must be detained must be given their midday meal pre-primary education then girls education beti bachao beti padao abhyans are also working there vidyapit schemes are the residential schools are there for the tribes adult educations are also programmed if the students uh, are not getting proper education in their childhood days and they're becoming parent and they're becoming adult they're becoming farmers so they need to also be guided in any age so government is also helping in that condition and each one is each one teach one is one kind of scheme also so we can say since 2009 RTE right to education have been also introduced and implemented so that most of the student must be getting their proper education okay now see let's find out the literacy rate of the last five years see 1971 percentage was literacy about 36.95 that is percentage of literacy 63.05 and if you talk about 2011 easily you can see that 79.13 that is 20.87 percent of the literacy rates are there so this is a condition where we can understand okay, why the inflation is there what is the what is the what is the kindly 
belief of the people okay towards the literacy and the education now see inflation is also there that you can understand by yourself the chart is given there and we'll be moving further on the next topic see next topic detailifies the thought of the inflation the increase in the price of essential commodities and the other necessities is also known as inflation so it has become a difficult combat inflation at the time with the people to compromise with their certain commodities facilities due to this kinds of inflation so that's also kind of a very big major issue now what are the measures okay measures can be related with the corruption holding okay or population are the factors responsible for the inflation okay so that's how we can say what can we do as a citizen to stop it the only one solution is that to this is a plant and 30 a plant a, a thrifty lifestyle it means the lifestyle which is actually needable lifestyle not show off lifestyle okay you need to understand what is are your what are your needs and then you can go further so poverty is another major challenge faced by our country a situation where a person is deprived of basic necessities like food cloth shelter employment and medical facilities too so it is termed as the poverty furthermore the percentage of the people in the gujarat living below poverty line is around 14 to uh, 12 percent but basically it is also going down because we are trying to make our gujarat and other state of india also very profoundly active for the helping people okay and jews are also helping on that now the criteria of the poverty are set on the basis of purchasing capacity level of income obviously if you have the good income you can purchase if you have bad income you cannot purchase you will be only you will be only mingling with your general diets and routine things only so due to five year plan education and the medical facilities have become more and more accessible in india it means everything is available at your doorstep home deliveries are available okay and literally we can say the growth of industries has also created lots of job opportunities which consequently has reduced poverty so the income of people has increased due to the inter due to the integration of the technology and also in the agriculture with the other professions see as the technology is introduced maximum in the industry in the other areas and all obviously it also creates unemployment so this is also one reason ha huh, but one thing we can say we can be learning the machines then we can work with the machines okay so that's a general kind of thing and if you go more further as i said you that corruption is also one kind of thing so we'll be reading about now with the corruption dekho one more thing you need to understand my dear student corruption is not a kind of a thing you should follow you should never follow the corruption because it not only make your progress hindered it also makes country's progress to be hindered now corruption Look, corruption is a simple term means lack of integrity honesty use of position power trust for the dishonest purpose again and again okay to get some gain so that's how it is working out now it means dishonest behavior by those in the position power such as we can say as the managers government officers corruption can be also including giving accepting the bribe if you give any kind of gift bribe or any kind of fund that is a corruption so that's how we can say dealing under table then uh, transactions manipulating ele uh, elections and uh, buying the votes and all diverting funds laundry of money black money to green money white money then defrauding investors corruption has also become a major issue hindering the development of nation because corrupted money is not paid to the tax and if the tax is corrupted means if the tax is still out stolen obviously government will not stand very very uh, we can say strongly so it also creates some impact okay so what are the impact of corruption that is effect of corruption corruption leads to the following ill effect on the society violence of the human rights human rights are violated hundreds of the development of nation there is no infrastructure development development okay then deterioration of the moral values nobody is trusting on the government inflation price rise lack of trust in the law nobody goes for the court then encouragement to the nepotism is also there nepotism means what one family is there on the seat then next person will be not elected from the general public he the person who is on the authoritative chair he will keep his own member on the chair when he will leave it and the same process will followed by his own member it means that their own people will be ruling always ruling no any new candidate will be getting chance to go and update the whole rule this will also lead to the nepotism so that's how we can say slow human development and breach of the faith is also can be seen there okay so measures are there now see government has framed certain laws since 1988 to reduce the prevent of the corruption 
Now see, Anti-Corruption Bureau has been formed in India since 1964. Okay, it helps people in checking and controlling the corruption. Therefore, government is also ready for doing that. Okay, now a message is there: accepting and offering bribe both are crime. You should never accept a bribe. Neither you should give a bribe. So this is how we can say corruption can be stopped out. Now see things to be known. The people who are actually not knowing about this thing, let me let me make you understand. Detail of the job available, vacancy and applicant. See, teacher for the primary school, vacancy thirteen thousand and available. That is, you can check it out. This is the amount. So this is how we can say that. Ki actually the seats for the vacancies are very less. Applicants are very more. Okay. So this is also leading to the. Problem. Now, if you go more further, modern uh, we can say modernization and unemployment too. Now, introduction of technology. As I made you understand, students, see, one man can do a work within hours. One machine can do the work within a second. So, it is very faster. It is which is good also. Uh, but side effect is that human beings are becoming unemployed. So that's how introduction of technology is the modern time has added to the burning problem. Okay, and that's how unemployment is also. For example, the use of computer has made the work faster, more accurate. Machines have replaced the man, and also it has resulted in the more accuracy. So, mechanization of the agriculture has left many agricultural labor unemployed, such as laborers facing tough time to earn their lively living uh, living hood also. Migrate. They also migrate to the cities in the search of work. As a result, the rural areas are disintegrated. Education has increased, expanded, and uh, education is also it has increased. And somehow we can say it is becoming costly too. So the density of the population in the cities have increased, and the result of challenges of water, shelter, transportation, health, hygiene, education have gone out of the proportion. And that's how we can say the challenges are also increasing in the dirty and congested slums. Means the people who don't have an area to live here and there, they settle themselves inside the slum areas, chopper patties and all. So therefore, we can say that this is also leading to the anti-social activities like child labor. Drug addiction, use of alcohol, mental stress, etc., etc., are the byproducts of this. So that's how we can say growing of urbanization and unemployment. A person who is above 18 year old age is only willing and capable to work. Does not, if he get the good pay job, can be called as a person who is unemployed. It means if you are more than 17 year old holding a good degrees or no degree, whatever, but you don't have any kind of job. Obviously, you are an unemployed person. So we should. Think Think something for this. We should do something for this, and we can say this can also be making us more and more profitable. Now, see, if these kinds of things are happening, then the people are needing to get some kinds of shortcuts. Okay, and that leads to terrorism also. Now, terrorism is also one kind of global problem which affects the country, economic GDP, and almost all the kinds of things. So, terrorism is a global problem. Terrorism activity areas. Uh, terrorism activity are an obstacles in the progress of nation. Obviously, it is the progress of nation. But if terrorism is working in that, the progress of the nation must be hindered, stopped, or somehow boycotted. So it is an evil effort to disturb the peace, brotherhood, and natural and national unity. Also, look, terrorism don't have any caste, religion. They are actually working from out of the gender, quality, caste. any any religion should not be connected with the terrorism neither hindus nor muslim nor christian nor, nor christian nor any kind of sikh also neither buddhism or jainism everybody should not connect any terrorism towards the religion so the goal of terrorism is never sacred pure or good and that's how we can say terrorism is an inhuman activity act that is carried out by the certain group of the people in the planned way and it is also restored by bullying killing or torturing somebody so that is how we can say terrorism is a challenge for any government any country any nation any district or any province example for that we can say like terrorism is an easy way to display power forcefully innocent people become the victim of that they are the target of the massacre anywhere at any time In the past, there were terrorist attacks of the Parliament Hotel Taj, then Mumbai, then uh, Mumbai Share Market also, local train, and also Akshardham Temple. So that's how we can say terrorism is a pure hatred and cruelty, and it had got nothing to do just kinsman, religion, or the language. 
should never ever support terrorism neither go and join the terrorism now what are the measures for that they hope what can be done we have to face it bravely obviously we have to face it bravely the intelligence bureau of the nation should be strong and active awareness regarding for the cooperating with the security agencies has been also developed people have to be very alert at the public or crowded places one must pay attention for uh, one must not not to pay attention on the rumors and all and should not panic at the time okay and same as in the crisis problem they should be also maintaining themselves very cool and calm apart from that we can say the security forces should be also well equipped with the machine guns tanks and whatever the missile rocket launchers if they need okay and additional with that cctv cameras and metal detector must be placed everywhere in the public places railway stations bus stop bank and everywhere so apart from this various other challenges are also faced by the nation that are orthodoxy communalism religionism discrimination as i discussed then based on language then broader issues rehabilitation after the natural disasters study these kinds of problems by yourself and try to find out the possible problem solutions and also you can make a chart of that okay so this lecture was till here only my dear student this lecture i hope has made you to understand about the problem and the uh, we can say challenges also of india and apart from that one thing is pretty sure and common that whenever you stuck in a problem lesson number 20 is giving you the detailed theory about the disaster management do not panic try to save yourself and other also and if you don't know what to do then try to seek help from the other people that's how we can make the india more better more comfortable never fear have courage move forward be calm and take all the wise decision take care i hope you enjoyed this lecture jai hind jai bharat